The clips in this video were taken on a residential permission with a small piece of woodland attached to the garden. It's still a good time to get out there and control some grey school populations in order to help preserve our native bird life. Warning, this is a pest control video. If you are not comfortable watching this content, please switch off now. You have been warned. Well, yesterday I came to one of my residential perms and I checked the trail cam footage and it was showing at least three greys in the frame at any one time. So yesterday I changed the feed where I've been using. I've been using whole maize and sunflower seeds. But I got the chance of trying something new so I thought I would give it a go. It's called chipmunk and squirrel mix. It looks quite good in the bag. It's got monkey nuts, peanuts in, sunflower seeds, bit of, bit of a few different things. So I filled this one up yesterday. I thought I would give it a go today. Um, before I started, I checked the level and there was at least two or three inches gone. So it looks like it's going to be pretty good for getting the greys in. Um, I've had one down already within about 20 minutes of settling down so hopefully I'm going to get a few more so as you can see that's what the mix is so on Monday I went to one of my local permissions uh, the feeder was empty so I filled it up with this it takes about six litres so I filled it at the top with this and then I went back on the afternoon on the day after and there was quite a bit gone out of it so I had my rifle with us, so I decided to sit for a couple of hours and see if anything tipped up. So what you'll see in the video is what I got on the afternoon and then the following clips were from this morning. So three on the afternoon and then 12 this morning. So this is the first of the three greys that arrived at the feeder on the afternoon session. Just bought another two cameras and I'm experimenting with camera angles at the minute. Let us know what you think in the comments box below. Whether it be good, bad or indifferent, I just need people's input so I can improve the channel.
you might notice that some of these clips are slightly longer than usual. What I'm trying to do is show the behavior that the greys are exhibiting both when there's dead greys underneath the feeder and when there's a lot of blood on the ground when the greys are being picked up. You will see some instances later in the video of where the greys are sniffing around the roots of the tree and that's where the greys have fallen previously. If you live in the County Durham area, please pop over to Wheatley Hill Pet and Corn and help support local businesses. Well, I'm back out on a residential perm. It's um, just gone half past six in the morning. I was here a couple of days ago in the afternoon and I got three. So I'm here now and we'll see what happens this morning. I was that busy typing away on my phone, I didn't even see this one arrive. This is the behaviour I mentioned earlier on, where the grey squirrels are sniffing around where the greys have fallen previously. Now having monkey nuts on your feeder definitely holds the greys a little bit longer and gives you time to line up a good shot. Now you can see how carefully these greys are coming down the tree. So I made the decision that after every third grey I would go out and have a quick pick up. After this one stops hiding behind the GoPros, it actually runs up the tree and sits about four feet above the feeder, giving us a decent shot.
I had to edit quite a bit of footage out of this one because all it was doing was hiding behind the remnants of some spring daffodils. If you have a look at the Perspex lid at the front of the feeder, there's two squares. These are actually stick on wheel weights which helps wear the lid down. Flipping the lid a few times sends out the noise that there's somebody on the feeder and this helps bring in the grears. At one point I thought I was going to have to pop out and release this grey from the vines but luckily enough it got itself out. The other one of this pair, after I shot this one, made an absolute racket alarm calling. But luckily enough, after about five or six minutes, it came to the feeder too. And here it is, checking out its dead buddy on the ground.
I must admit, these vines down the side of the tree are an absolute godsend because when they start rattling, you know you've got a greer coming down the tree. This one was a right pain being hidden behind some leaves in front, but eventually I just had enough vision just to thread a pellet just over the top of the leaves into the top of its brain box. I hope you enjoyed watching the video and if you did please like share and subscribe and put a comment in the comment box to help the channel grow. In the meantime here's two from the archive for you to watch.